Friday night in Paris, host of the BNP Paribas Masters, and the crowds poured in to witness the final two matches to decide who would be back tomorrow to contest the semi-finals at the final regular event on the ATP World Tour. First on court, the number one seed, Roger Federer, looking to reach his first semi-final in Bercy against a man two years his junior, Jürgen Meltzer. On the back of a season-best 11-match winning streak, Federer was red-hot in the opening set, wrapping it up in 20 minutes with a double break. Beautifully done. A read away with that forehand. Very difficult to read. But he had a man of spinning. on the ball that well. This is through the year. The second set was inevitably a tighter affair, needing a breaker to decide the outcome, but Federer made his move at just the right time, sealing the match with one hour and ten minutes. Exquisite feel. Great shot. Meltzer failed to show up for that one. Federer won it in just 20 minutes, but the second set was much more competitive. Full marks to Meltzer for making it so difficult for the top seed to win that one in two. Plenty to admire from both, particularly Federer initially. And he was just too strong in the end. And gets it done this evening in straight set, 6-1, 7-6. Yeah, I've been, I think, in three quarterfinals before here. And other than that, I've been injured many times, or just it didn't even come through the first or second round. So this is the first for me. I'm very happy. Um, it gives me, I have a, another chance to get even further. So I'm, I'm excited about that as well. And I'm feeling I'm playing well on a quick court, which could favor my game as well the next round. The last quarterfinal of the day saw Andy Murray also trying to progress from this stage for the first time here against last year's finalist, Frenchman Gael Monfils. Fighting for the right to play Roger Federer for the fourth time this year, the world number four struggled to impose himself in the opening set, allowing Monfils to take it in 35 minutes. A little too casual, Murray pays the price. And Murray's got to be careful, he persists with the drop shot. Monfils, one of the quickest players on the tour. Appearing in his sixth quarterfinal or better in the nine Masters 1000 events this season, the Scot turned things around in the second to level the match. Nothing on that approach at all. Yeah, not a place to come into either. Murray backhand. Majority of the partial shots tend to go cross court. But in a tough contest decided by small margins, it was the Frenchman, perhaps with the edge, thanks to the enormous support, who pounced on a flagging Murray to seal the match. So every time to play here is so special and play like this with a good level of tennis is like uh, amazing for me. Confirmation then of the semi-finals matches to be played in Paris on Saturday. With a possible all-French final at stake, the atmosphere is once more guaranteed to be electric at the Palais on this ball. Don't miss a shot on TennisTV.com.